back with me from Shore and Partners, David Bolzio. David, afternoon, good to see you. Great to see you, Andrew. How are you going? Doing good, David, thank you. Look, fair bit of, uh, bit of volatility of late in the gold price, back below 2000 US now. Do you reckon we're still in this bull market? Yeah, I, I think this is, this is um, part of the process. Unfortunately, with, with, with any rally, whether it be a, a share price or, or a metal or a commodity, whatever it may be, um, you, you do see periods of consolidation. We had that really fantastic rally over 2000. And um, subsequently, a few days thereafter, we saw it pull back into the 1800s again. And um, again, earlier this week, it had another tilt of 2000. And, and as, we, as we record this video, we're, we're uh, somewhere in, in the mid 1900s. So um, it's good to see a little bit of consolidation. I think looking through a, at a lot of the fundamentals though, um, if we believe that we're truly in a bull market for precious metals, you are gonna see periods of higher highs and higher lows. Um, these things never go up in a straight line. And it's important to hold your nerve and hold, and, you know, have some real resolve around what you believe at this, in these parts of cycles, because um, if we're right and, and the bull market does continue, um, then I, I do believe that uh, you know, those highs around 2050 thereabouts um, will not be the all time highs and we're gonna see those broken at some stage in the near future. What do you make of Warren Buffett's recent investment in uh, in Barrick. Not not one previously to be a big fan of gold, has he? Absolutely. He, he, he's been one who's quite publicly and openly um, questioned why gold is, is an investment class and why people would even bother putting their money there. Um, now, with that said, uh, he has spent $500 million to, to secure a stake in Barrick, one of the world's largest gold producers. Um, when you're sitting on hundreds uh, you know, plus 100 billion in cash, I guess 500 uh, million is not, not uh, you know, not the end of the world, but it's still a significant position. And, and I, I would have thought if, if they are taking a view on the sector, if his group, you know, obviously Berkshire Hathaway are taking a view on the sector, I would have thought there's, there's probably some other similar positions that they're taking that perhaps haven't gone public yet. I think what it means, though, is that clearly there's a change in, in, in the mindset in, in, um, in what it means. And personally, I think if you take away all the, the froth and um, market sentiment and exuberance around what it actually means, I think it's probably more of a calculated um, play on real interest rates. And, and I think if you look through at a lot of the commentary, real interest rates um, are gonna be down for a long, long time. Um, it's gonna be hard to see them um, really lifting um, anytime soon and I do feel that that still plays a fundamental key part in the strength behind the gold market going forward. What about in the broader market David are we, are we seeing a fair bit of uh, bit of liquid liquidity there? Yeah it's been it's been incredible I, I must say we, we've seen a, an enormous amount of corporate activity and this is from I guess the small caps to through to mid caps I think are really going out at the moment and, and tapping um, a lot of retail investors as well as wholesale investors for, for new capital. Um, and I, I can't recall the last time I've seen a deal that's, that's fallen flat on its face. Um, there's a lot of money out there. All the deals are coming through oversubscribed. And it tells you that there's clearly a lot of positive sentiment and demand. Uh, and this is not just in the gold space. Obviously, it's, it's across. Um, we've seen um, iron ore in high demand, uh, copper, things, you know, those, those sorts of metals that are, that are really linked to uh, consumer um, um, growth and, and, and economic growth. Um, we've seen China turning on stimulus as well. So what does that mean for iron ore and, say, copper? Um, we've seen biotech really having a, a serious run as well. So companies that seem to be active, that are talking to the market, putting out results, seem to be getting rewarded at the moment, and there seems to be a lot of money out there. I'd, I'd say just you know, closing comments on, on the liquidity part, it's clearly a function of a lot of the economic stimulus. Um, we will talk about Australia, given that's where we are. We've got the job keeper, the job seeker. Um, we've also had a, a situation, which is the first time in history, where retail investors have been allowed to go and access the superannuation for a certain amount. So a lot of people have accessed their super and probably said, well, we're going to put that into the market ourselves. Um, and we've seen that really driving prices strongly. Good to get your views, David. Nice to see you. Thanks very much. Thanks, Andrew.